Remaining candidates are now turning their attention here to Michigan. That's right. The state's presidential primary is now just a couple of days away. 13 on your side, Angela Cunningham joins us now with a look at what we can expect between now and Tuesday. Angela. Uh, good morning, guys. We're already seeing a taste of it with Elizabeth Warren in Detroit yesterday. And as you said, Sanders scheduled to be in Michigan by the end of the week. And it's very likely we will see other candidates follow suit. That's because there is a lot riding on Michigan and the stakes are now even higher based on yesterday's results. Michigan is the largest state to hold a primary after Super Tuesday. There are 147 delegates up for grabs here, of which 125 are pledged delegates. Now we spoke with the political expert at Calvin University who says we should keep a close eye on voter turnout. Now you may recall we saw record numbers in 2016 and Bernie Sanders was able to upset Hillary Clinton in a very close race. Voter turnout is a really important piece of this conversation during this primary season and the reason that is is because Bernie has really centered his campaign on his ability to mobilize voters and especially mobilize voters who don't normally turn out to vote. Um, whoever wins here is also able to claim their electability in such an important state like Michigan, such an important swing state like Michigan. So Michigan's a pretty big deal. Now, Vector says whoever wins Michigan may very well have the best chance to win overall. Also, because there was a pretty big shakeup to the field before Super Tuesday, it's very unlikely that any more candidates will drop out before our, our primary. And of course, again, that is next Tuesday, March 10th. Back to you.